Meu nome é Bruno Silva, blindado, sou brasileiro. Essa é a minha segunda vez aqui na cidade de Chelebisk, na Rússia. É, vou lutar no Nenhum Global agora. Vou lutar contra o Alexandre Chemelenko na luta principal. A luta será cinco rounds e estou muito motivado para essa luta. E quero dar ao público uma luta muito boa. Eu sou um lutador de strike, não gosto muito de luta amarrada, não costumo lutar pelos pontos, eu tento buscar o nocaute todos os rounds e não, dessa vez não vai ser diferente, eu vou buscar o nocaute contra o Chamelenque em todos, todos os rounds, se possível, até o quinto round, até o último segundo eu vou buscar o nocaute e vou nocautear. Вообще Челябинск находится очень близко к моему городу, городу Омску, к родному. Да и в любой, в любой раз, когда я выступаю в России, для меня это очень волнительно и приятно. И тем более, когда собирается такой большой турнир, и мне очень приятно выступать в главный бой вечер. Своего соперника Бруно Сильва я видел еще по бою именно здесь, в Челябинске. Там он легко выиграл, выиграл нокаутом в первом раунде. Я еще так удивился, посмотрев, и когда мне предложили с ним подраться, конечно же, я согласился. Что хочу сказать? Сильные стороны у него, то, что он зарубается, то, что он не боится идти в рубку, то, что у него нестандартная техника, то есть, как понять, нестандартная. Она с виду корявая, но она, в принципе, действенная и приносит успех. Довольно опасный, серьезный соперник. И рекорд говорит сам за себя. У него получается 17 побед, если я не ошибаюсь, 16 нокаутов. может и удивить нас, потому что я видел, что он довольно неплохо борется, и в некоторых боях он предпочитает сам проходить в ноги, и я не знаю, примет ли он вызов со мной работать в стойке, или тоже попробует перевести и попытать счастье в парке. Бруно, желаю тебе сил, терпения, сделать вес, и самое главное, Тяжело, наверное, тебе бразильцу драться в России, потому что у нас холодно, и на себе ты это очень сильно чувствуешь. Так что удачи, встретимся в бою. Александр, я estou preparado para ganhar cinco rounds. Слово нашим англоязычным комментаторам они приветствуют многомиллионную аудиторию телеканала M1 Global. Welcome back to the M1 Challenge 93, coming to you live from the Tractor Arena here in Chelyabinsk, Russia. Chris Hookster alongside Ian the Machine Freeman. Ian, tonight we've had flyweight matchups, a lightweight showdown, and that middleweight title. It's been a night to remember. Wow, middleweight title went into the second round. I actually said on air that I thought that. Joe Riggs must have had a bad knee. He didn't. He hurt his knee throwing a kick in the first round. Tried it again in the second, but just as he went to throw it, his knee popped out. Wow, uh, such bad luck. I hope, Joe, if you're watching this, you know, heal up quick, get well. Best of luck, my friend, and hopefully we can see that rematch that you truly deserve. And Artem Frolov, still the champion, defending yeah. for the first time. An amazing capstone, though, coming up next. It's the fight that both guys wanted. Five five-minute rounds in the main event, a super fight, again, in the middleweight division. One of the greatest all-time guys in the Russian Federation to ever put on the four-ounce gloves, Alexander Shlomenko. But he's taking on a very aggressive Muay Thai stylist in Bruno Silva. Silva coming off a vicious win. Shlomenko looking to get back to winning ways. What goes down, and what do both guys need to do to win? Bruno Silva, 17 and 6. 14 of those 17 wins coming by knockout. I mean, wow, that's just amazing. But that tells me that Bruno Silva is a head hunter. Now, if he wants to head on Slomenko, Slomenko would gladly stand and trade with him. But Slomenko, 57 and 10, I believe his record is, unbelievable. He is not gonna stand toe to toe with a guy who knocks you out. This man is too clever. He will look as if he's gonna throw it, maybe even do some of his spinning back fist that he's known for, but what he will do, he will wait for Silva to throw the punch, he will go underneath, take him down, and he will ground and pound to a finish. This fight is not gonna go the distance, mark my words. So it's scheduled for 25 minutes if necessary. 
Cannot wait to get the action underway. Everyone on the edge of their seats here at the Tractor Arena. Chris Hookstra, Ian the Machine Freeman. It's the main event coming right now at the M1 Challenge 93. Дамы и господа, представляем ваше внимание пятираундовый бой в среднем весе в синем гурыче спортсмен из Бразилии. Приветствуйте, Бруно Силва! Os humilhados serão exaltados. Grava aí, ó! A humildade é a essência da vida, compadre. Na escola da vida aprendi Como chorei e sofri No sonho eu persisti Não desisti de lutar Vi muita gente subir Mas vi o mesmo cair Foram milhares feridos Que quis já te ajudar Pra alcançar o sucesso Eu tive que ir pra pura luta Não vou dar um pouco da luta Sem meu jeito de ser Vou dar um papo na boa So the main event tonight sees Bruno Silva from Brazil Come back to Shilabinsk to look for another stoppage once again. A very aggressive Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu stylist loves to lead with power shots. Great coverage, good head movement, solid footwork, great kicking game. But he's a fighter who is known to take risks. In the build up to this fight, he was very adamant that he will go only one way, and that is forward. Shlomenko said, that just suits me. So again, both guys wanted this fight. Both guys knew this would be a great stylistic matchup on paper. And I got to quote my broadcast partner, Ian the Machine Freeman. It would seem difficult to predict that this would go the full 25. So coming off a KO via knee in the first in February of 2018, Silva looks to make it three in a row tonight. In fact, he's lost only once since September 2012. Silva has never won by a submission and has lost five times by a submission. So 14 stoppages with the hands and feet. By a KO or TKO, three decisions combining for 17 wins. And of course, five of those six losses have been via tap out. You can find videos of this guy training with Vandalay Silva online for those in the know. So a little bit of that shoot the box style, certainly inspirational to Bruno Silva and the way that he approaches his craft. Ready to make his way through the prep point into the ring and the main event tonight for five five minute rounds. And the M1 Challenge 93, Bruno Silva in the blue corner. Дамы и господа, спортсмен в Красном Гурыче представляет Российскую Федерацию. Команду Новый Поток, авторскую школу Шторм и клуб Паец. Уважаемые поклонники боевых искусств, Красном Гурейджа, двукратный победитель Гран-при Беллатор в среднем весе, трехкратный чемпион Беллатор в среднем весе, обладатель М1 Гран-при в среднем весе, легенда смешанных боевых единоборств мира, Александр Шторм Шлеменко! And what can be said that already has not been said? One of Russia's most successful MMA athletes of all time, been fighting at a high level, and certainly in the conversation of top 10, top 20 in the world in his weight class for a decade. From Omsk, Russia, 56 and 10, 34 years of age. Hard to believe that Shlomenko's been in it for that long. 
but the numbers do not lie. 31 by a KO or TKO, nine submissions on the ledger. Coming off a decision loss to Gagard Musasi, who many pundits have in the top five in the world, which snapped a win streak dating back to December of 2014. Having beaten the likes of Yasubi Anamoto, Melvin Monhoff, Vyacheslav Vasilevsky, twice, Kendall Grove. That body shot knockout, amazing. Well, here's the numbers. The time for talk is over. It's the main event here at the M1 Challenge 93. Let's get the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 Challenge bout in the middleweight division. Now let me introduce your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 28 years old. He weighed in at 84.4 kilograms. He stands 183 centimeters tall and has a record of 17 wins with six losses. He is a Mao Thai black belt, BJJ purple belt, winner of Iron Fight Combat, Immortal FC, and Aspera FC events. From Brazil, Bruno Silva! And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 34 years old. He weighed in at 83.6 kilograms. He stands 180 centimeters tall and has an impressive record of 56 wins with only 10 losses. He is two-time winner of Bellator Middleweight Grand Prix and three-time Bellator Middleweight Champion, representing new stream team, Storm Fighting School, and Boet's team. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexander Storm Shlemenko! <laughs> and the referee is now, Vajislav Kiselev. Fighters, stand up. Okay, this is the fight. You know rules. Five rounds, five minutes. Listen to my comments every time. Stay active all the time, okay? Dash gloves. Thank you, Connor. Blue corner. Vyacheslav Kiselev in charge. The main event here at M1 Challenge 93. A big pop from the crowd for the announcements there. Blue corner, Bruno Silva from Brazil. Alexander Storm Shlomenko in the red. Judge. Judge, Both judge, men judge. wanted this fight. They love this stylistic matchup. Both Wait. look as confident as we've ever seen them. Ian, it starts on the feet. Well, that's exactly where Silva wants this. 14 knockouts and his 17 wins. I mean, this guy's got a heavy hands. Don't get me wrong. Shlomenko has heavy hands too, but I think he'll be too clever to stand and trade. He may stand and throw punches to make Silva think he's going to stand with him. Then he's going to grab a leg and take him down. You can see the flinch there. Silva backing off, Shlomenko kind of nodding as if to uh, telegraph some sort of takedown attempt, but nice slip from Shlomenko, right hand counter. Shlomenko with the hands down. They say he's got hands of his own. He feels that they're better than Silva's, so we're about to find out. Nice jab, nice body shot. Beautiful work. Nice knee to the midsection there from Shlomenko on the disconnect. He has stopped more than a few fighters with that left hook. Yeah, spinning back fist, which he's known for. Likes the spinning kicks, the spinning back fist. Not too keen on the covering of the head that Silva's doing. Maybe that's some excellent go scene that I didn't in the videos. Oh. Kicking that's, a slip. Yeah, I've got to pick you up on that. That's one of the things that perplexed me oh, about Silva. Nice. Oh, no, big knee to a right hand. Silva looks for the counter, but sometimes he covers up and just kind of doesn't move his head. Sometimes you do see the head movement, so... It's not, I'm not a big fan of covering up like that. It's okay when you've got big boxing gloves on and the, and the big boxing gloves can't get through the arms, but in MMA, it's very dangerous. Safe to say you're not a fan of the peekaboo. No, definitely not. No. Well, no sign of a takedown attempt from Shlomenko yet. Again, work in the body. Shlomenko got tagged and he looked up. Oh, jumping knee. And it's Silva that gets the clinch. Nice acrobatics there from Silva. Shlomenko beckons him on, but he does that often. He'll kind of say, come on, and then kind of bait you into a shot. Well, this will be a huge feather in the cap of Bruno Silva if he does beat Alexander Shlomenko. Well, quick break. Ready? Shlomenko looked at the referee. Referee 
acknowledge the fact nothing was happening and broke them up. Yeah, Vyacheslav Kiselov. Oh! oh! He gets tagged with a left hook. Shlemenko got tagged as well, but he finishes with a big punch of his own. Again, fires forward. Them knees are good as well. There's the single. I was expecting this earlier, but what a jumping knee from Bruno Silva. Catches him with an uppercut. Nice body shot and the knee. Slamenko under some sort of pressure oh, here. Silva big right hand. Away. That's oh. the power he's known for. And Shlemenko. again, he's out. He's oh, out. No. Oh my word, that's it. It's over. What a win. Bruno Silva knocks out Alexander Slamenko in the first round. Oh my word. What an upset. Alexander Slamenko rocked, put out on his feet on Wobble wow. Street. And Bruno Silva will get the win tonight. Silence from the crowd, oh my word. 14 now becomes 15 knockouts in his 18 wins. What a finish by Bruno Silva. Machine, we talked about it. We looked at the midway point and said, when's the takedown coming? Slamenko tried to get him down, but Silva punishing him. And just silence here in the crowd. Unbelievable. Well, that's the fight game, Chris. You know, I, I think, you know, you can have this fight again and it would be a different result, but the man who won tonight, Bruno Silva, he came to win. We said he had danger in those fists and danger it was. Unbelievable. And a disappointed Alexander Slamenko, but what a performance from Bruno Silva. We talked about the fact that we did not think that this would go the full 25. I love you. Russia. I love you, Russia. And you heard it from that man, Bruno Silva, taking the main event here tonight at the M1 Challenge 93 with a vicious stoppage in the very first round. Fighters to the center, Ian the Machine Freeman. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 54 seconds of the very first round, we have a winner by the way of knockout, Bruno Silva! So Bruno Silva, your winner, now formally announced. Unbelievable. And it will be the second loss for that man, Alexander Slamenko. The crowd surprised, I think, at what transpired, but Slamenko went out there, he traded with Silva. It was clearly going to be a risk. Three wins in a row there. And Silva wants that belt. You can see the sign there. For champion for love, wait for me. I give my belt for love. And his corner obviously providing some insight into his long term plans here at M1. Slomenko, not the result he would have liked. It was entertaining while it lasted here tonight at the Tractor Arena in Shelabinsk. Well, to take a look back at the fight, it was fun while it lasted. Slamenko, Silva, both guys wanted this matchup. Both guys went out there and promised to stand and trade. And that was exactly what happened for the better part of two and a half minutes. We saw knees, punches, great kicks and combinations from both guys. Slamenko connecting cleanly, boxing very nicely. Silva, though, had faith in his power and was adamant that he would be able to deliver the big one flying neither from Silva into the clinch. I mean, that's the kind of acrobatics you come to expect from his style. And there, the beginning of the end, that right hand back and forth, alternating hooks, power punches. Vyacheslav Kiselov keeping a very careful eye there, giving Shlomenko every opportunity, but ultimately forced to come in and wave off the contest. Shlomenko up there in the corner of the rage. And tonight, he will taste defeat in Shelabinsk. Bruno Silva, your winner in the main event tonight.
scheduled for five five-minute rounds over in one. That's the main event in the books at the M1 Challenge 93. So on behalf of myself, Chris Hookstra, and my broadcast partner, Ian the Machine Freeman, thank you very much for tuning in. This was M1 Challenge 93. We hope to see you next time in Orenburg for M1 Challenge 94. Follow us online at m1global.tv.